Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to take a close-up look at a Black Widow spider. We're going to look at this under magnification. And we will be using our KK Moon video microscope. Now you spider experts out there will be able to identify every little part of a spider. But, you know, when it comes to that, I'm not an expert. Spider parts, I know legs, I know body, I know squish, splat, stain, okay? So what, legs, body, stain? That's all I know when it comes to parts of a spider. But I do know their behavior because I've been dealing with them alive, or at least for the last bit of their life when they're alive, and then we talk about leg, body, squish, splat, stain. Now, today, we got lucky, or you guys got lucky, this spider is not dead. This is just stunned. At any time, this spider can and will, well, hopefully not, but could possibly wake up on us. Yeah, so that just adds a little bit extra scare or fear into the video. Now you can see as we look at a close-up of the leg, you see all those teeny tiny hairs. That's how the spiders grip. That's what they use, those little hairs to grip when they're climbing things. And I bet it would help them with grabbing on to prey, too. Now, in particular, we're, you know, we're looking at the spider, but in particular, I want to concentrate on the red hourglass on the abdomen, 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 on the belly, on the stomach of the spider. I mention this in every video. People keep saying, that's not a black widow spider. That's a false black widow. It doesn't have a red mark on its back. The red mark is on its abdomen. And... Most importantly, do not go by the red mark. A high percentage, well, what's a high percentage? Maybe 20%, 18%. Almost a quarter of all black widows you'll find will not have a distinguishable marking on their abdomen, abdomen, belly, on their stomach that is visible to the naked eye. I have shown in a previous video where you couldn't see any markings, any red markings on the abdomen of the spider until I zoomed in real close and then you could see it so don't go by that markings go by the overall look of the spider how it moves how it behaves and look at if you don't see the red hourglass on this spider there's there's still no doubt in, in your mind or my mind there's still no doubt this is a black widow spider so these people send me these messages leave me these comments and say hey you know you're stupid you <laughs> wait a second I know what I'm talking about, so yeah. Oh well. And really, some people do it innocently. They don't mean to. They just open their mouth before they know what they're talking about. It, you know, to some people, it happens. It happens to me all the time. I just try not to let it get caught on tape. This is something that hopefully you will never have to see in real life this close. Because if you saw something like this in real life... That would mean you were a teeny, teeny, tiny bug, and this spider would just coming down on you to eat you. So, yeah. <laughs> now, look at the hourglass. Now, remember, the Black Widow spider has that hourglass, and it's just roughly an hourglass. We're looking at it zoomed, and that's not a precise hourglass. And then, the coloring is a little strange and a little blotchy in some places. And that is exactly how... You can mistake a black widow spider for a non-black widow spider because if the hourglass is blotchy and very faded and faint, that's when you can't see it. And look at treat every spider that you don't know what it is, treat it as if it's a dangerous spider. Because here's the big secret. Every spider has venom. Every centipede has venom, you know, all these, every scorpion has venom. Most of them will not kill you if you are bit, stung, or chewed upon. They could give you a real bad infection that could turn gangrenous and kill you. I mean, they could do a lot of things. Eat away at your flesh, or it, you know, could, it could, could, could kill you, right? But the most dangerous thing is to have an allergic reaction to their venom. And that's what will kill you. That's what will get most people. And if you've never been stung by a scorpion, it could be a harmless scorpion, or bit by a black widow, which really isn't harmless, you have no idea how your body's going to react to that venom. 
You could be allergic to nothing, and then, bam, you're allergic to this. You don't know. You've never been bit or stung before. That's the thing about bees, too. I've been stung hundreds of times throughout my life. But you got to know, at any time, you can become allergic. Bam. I wasn't allergic two months ago. Now, if I get stung, I'll die. And that's the thing when it comes to venom. So you can have an allergic reaction to even a harmless spider, or relatively harmless spider, because, you know, we already just we already determined <laughs> they're not necessarily harmless, even the harmless ones. Yeah, there's something to think about. All right, so what do you think? Is this a little closer to a Black Widow than you ever hoped to get? Because, you know, this thing is huge. Well, it's not huge. Well, it is a big spider. It's just zoomed in, so it looks huge. And those of you who know me when I said at any time this spider can jump up and come back to life on us because it's not dead it's just nearly dead some people might get that reference so anyways those of you who know me the whole time has been ah oh, he's gonna have this thing jump up at a camera no. <laughs> all right so if this thing jumps up at us when we're doing this it's not because of me well probably it is because of me poking around at it but it's not me doing it on purpose all right so what do you think did you learn something today? Did you learn spiders are scary? Did you see parts of a spider that you never knew existed? Are you a spider expert and can name all these little weird parts of a spider? Yeah. Like I said, the list of spider parts in my book is spider legs, spider body, spider stain. Squish. Splat. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22 the most dangerous man on YouTube.